Hi everyone and welcome back to Scrap Edit Creations. I'm Diane and today we are going to be creating this super cute adorable car. I am excited to share this process with you so let's get card making. So today I am working on a card. I've gotten a few ideas online and this is how I merged them all together. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It feels very um, fun. And I, I like cards that have multiple layers and just like feel like I have put so much work into it. Um, unfortunately, that means I have put so much work into it. I keep trying to tone things down. Um, and not have like as many die cuts because I'm cutting this out for my girls for the card class that I've been trying to get together, but life just keeps getting in the way, you know, life. So I'm working on this one today because I want to get this card class done and out to them because I know that they've been waiting so patiently and I appreciate it so much. But this will be the instructions for this one. Uh, we are using White Daisy. I've got card bases from Close to My Heart. I'm using the Cherish pattern paper and Mist. I think I got everything um, on paper. Uh, Cherish scrapbooking stamp set. I love this set. This was one that I actually had just bought the stamps and then went back because they were on sale and I'm a ding dong and bought the dies as well. So I now have two sets of this because, you know, why not? Um, I'm also using the Happy Birthday from Thoughtful Florals and the Thank You from Floral Notes, which I think this is a new one. Oh, I'm so confused on these catalogs right now. Love everything that's coming out. Need my brain to kind of figure it all out too. Okay, so I'm using the kind of, let's see here if we can get the picture. This paper, I love this paper. It is so sweet. And then this zip strip. Now, girls, for your assembly, I'm going to actually cut these in half instead of a one inch and a two inch strip. So this is a zip strip. It is a half an inch by, this one's two inch and one inch. Yours will be a half an inch by one and a half inches because I found when I was messing around with this that I I needed it to be a little more balanced. These are one inch by, I want to say three and a half, three and a half, and there's three of them. I ended up cutting these one inch as well, just because I didn't want to mess, oops, mess around with kind of having like little tiny bits. I, I just, no, not right now. So these are three and a fourth by one inch, and there's three of those. This is going to be missed dark side. So you're gonna use the dark side of this pattern. And then you're going to use the dark side of this one as well. And I wanna say a five and a fourth. And then I've got the banners pick a punch. I will be punching these for you. Okay, it's pretty simple, straightforward. I've got a two inch white daisy circle. Now I will have for my girls, thank you on one side, and happy birthday on the other, so you have your options. I have, oops, let's see here, let's move this back over here. This piece of um, mist, we'll use the dark side, and it is, let's see, that's five and three eighths, and we've got four and an eighth. Four and an eighth by five and three eighths, so that means that this one is four, by five and a fourth and that'll go on top of this and then the card base you have will just be a standard card base from close to my heart with an envelope okay so for starters we have to move stuff over and oh pins so a lot of my girls want to color themselves which is phenomenal because it's really hard for me to color all of the kits and there's numerous ones this time because people have ordered extras so I'm using Vintage Blue Blend. There's three colors in that, a light, a medium, and a dark. Dull Green Blend, again, light, medium, and dark, and Muted Brown Blend, and I'm only using the light in that one. Okay, so those are the pens I'm using. I'm using Intense Black Ink and Mist Ink. 
mist ink is for some splattering that might be really hard to see. Let's see if we can, oh, it's very faint, but we did some splattering, well I did, and um, the verbiage, the verbiage on here, okay? So I'm gonna set this over here for right now and I'm going to, oops, here's my little dies. And I've got my spongy um, Versamat, which my goodness, I would be lost without my Versamat. I'm so glad I have like six of them. <laughs> it's well, well, well worth it. Okay, so we're going to stamp this one twice. So in the kit, you will actually have two of these flowers. Let me grab the card back. One berry, one, this one kind of reminds me of eucalyptus, and two sets of leaves. And nothing will be colored. It'll all be just um, ready for you to color. It'll be cut out. Because I have a feeling Nancy's going to help me because she loves me. Okay, so we want one of those. We want one of these. And we want two of these. Again, this is the best stamp set ever. Actually, there's all sorts of really good ones out there, but this is a really good one. Okay, so we're gonna go with the light on, oh, actually, you know what, let's start with the flower since I stamped it out first. It'll be the easiest. So we're gonna start with light, of course. Okay, so I've done the light now and I'm gonna to go to the mid and I'm gonna kinda of just circle around here. I know, I was gonna only do half of this but I ended up doing the whole thing. And then I'm gonna do this little bit here that's kinda, of, it's got this little line that is for um, like a fold on the flower. So I'm just gonna add the mid onto that and then I'm gonna take the dark and go like that, just around the center. And then I'm gonna take the light and just kinda work over it a little bit. Because this is wet enough, I think it looks really pretty. I'm really happy with how that came out. Sorry for the glare. I'm trying to get it, the lighting a little better. It's difficult for me, because I don't understand the lighting, I guess I should say. So I'm just doing the light inside this little flower. And you can do that before or after. So it's kind of like a, a really, really light toffee. And we have two flowers to color. Okay, so that is the flowers. We've got two of those colored. Aren't they, they're just so pretty, so pretty. I'm gonna take the mid color and do the berries. And then I'm going to go back over here with the light color on this eucalyptus looking branch. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the mid and I'm just going to put a little tiny bit in a shadowy type area, you know, where the stamp is showing its shadows. That's one thing I really like about some of the stamps I use is that they've got those little lines that say, oh, the shadow is here, because otherwise I have no clue where the darn shadow is. I don't know about you, but I just can't find the shadows. It doesn't make sense as much in my brain sometimes. So. so now I've got the light of the dull green blend. And then I'm gonna follow the vein of the leaf here and then I'm just going to add a little tiny bit at the bottom and this one's probably the one that I have to blend the most okay so that is kind of how I'm getting it let's see that as I'm looking in the camera I didn't like how that looked right there not too fancy you know just looking pretty Okay, so those are the pieces you need for the flowers using, again, dull green blend, muted brown blend, and vintage blue blend, and only the light on the muted brown. 
I'm going to set those over there. And I'm going to use the dies and cut these. And magically, I have them cut. <laughs> I cut an extra set. Okay. Originally, I was thinking I was going to use two sets of these. And I decided to only use one set. So I already had that cut. And then I just colored these and um, cut them real quick so that we didn't have to spend a lot of time on that. So the next step, see this is the birthday one, so let's stamp that real quick. And we're just going to stamp this kind of as low as we can get it. There we go. Beautiful. That's a really beautiful stamp. I really like the way that that um, birthday has, oops, sorry, the squiggle lighting. Me and lighting. <laughs> we are not friends. Okay, and so I'm going to take these pieces and I'm going to set them aside. And I'm going to remove this and push this over here. Okay. So these pieces we will put on in just a sec. I'm going to just make the base. I will have this white daisy piece splattered for everybody in the class. But for right now, I'm just going to assemble this card base. And I have been running into a little bit of problems with splattering on my new desk because I keep getting it everywhere. So what I have done to do a little better is I purchased these. <laughs> they are for grease splatters on your stove. So let's get my all-purpose mat. This is my old one. And just it just happens to be out here. And we're gonna open this up and we're gonna block it all in. Look at that. Yeah. And let's put this in here. And we're gonna get this. And we're gonna take the mist. Now we're going to just add some ink to here. And I have my little splatter brush. And we're just going to splatter. That's it. That's all. And then we're just going to close this up. I can wipe it down later, or I can create a pretty splatter scene on it. And there's nothing on my desk. It's great. It's really good. <laughs> it's saving me because I was getting so... At the point like right here I've got a little blue um, I've got some blue over uh, just right down here and I keep having to scrub I've got some pink over here oh so frustrating okay so here are all these little bits now in your kit you will have the papers you will have this splattered you will have these cut not colored and you will have happy birthday, and then on the back side you'll have the thank you. You will have um, this piece flagged, and that's pretty much what you'll get in your kit. Um, and you'll get two of these. So I'm going to, I'm just using the Tombow Mono Adhesive right now because it's quick. But I'm going to assemble oops, these little guys. Okay, so I'm going to bring this down here, and I'm going to actually grab my tea, um, tea ruler because I need to make sure that I'm kind of keeping this even, and I didn't do it on that one. So let's just add some adhesive here, and I want these. I guess I can put this first one down over here. And that looks pretty even. Okay. Just kind of centering them, trying to keep them even, leaving a smidge, maybe an eighth. It's definitely not a fourth, about an eighth of an inch between them. And just, you know, it just has a really tiny, fine border here, just to give it that little bit of color on there to kind of just make it so it's not just the pattern paper sitting down there. Okay. So we've got that. Now let's put this little guy on here. Oops, let's make sure 
I had to cut one of them. Yeah, I'm going to cut this down a smidge. If I can find my trimmer. So I will make this just a smidge smaller for everybody because I want it to not go edge to edge. So if yours ends up being edge to edge, um, just take about a fourth of an inch off. Okay, so we've got that. And just kind of put it about there. Looking cute, isn't it? I'm really happy with it. Okay, and I'm going to grab my pop tape. I do have some of these here handy. So I'm going to put four onto this page. Oops. Apparently this side does not want to come off without taking the little backings off first. Okay. And then, let's see here. These are the tops, so I want one on each of these. I think that was all I did. Yeah. Okay. There, now they're all ready. Okay. So I'm going to lightly put this down here because I've got to remember, I think I had to do the longer side over here. You will not have this problem because yours will be cut evenly. So I just kind of want it centered. Visually centered is fine. <coughs> and put that about yay right there. And then this one over here. So it just looks like a continual line. We only have one zip strip per sheet of paper, so that's why I'm having to cut them down. Okay, and I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of adhesive there. I have not pushed this bit down, so we're just going to start tucking. Oops. Definitely kind of don't tuck too, like push down on that too much, but have it there because it's easier to work with it than against it. And then you can do this after you put the flowers on or before. Since I just worked with one, I kind of know where I want it. This one I'm going to put after the flowers. And then we've got one little flower going there, one little flower going here. You could also add an extra pop tape here so that it pops it up a little bigger. And then the little, the little berry. So pretty similar. Um, you know, each one is going to have a little bit of a, a change. I kind of like it up here over here, but I liked it down here over here. Um, however you feel your bouquet goes is perfect. I'm loving this card. It's just such a sweet little card. Perfect for those happy birthdays or those thank yous or um, even a get well card. This would be a great get well card. So that is everything. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much for taking time to come and play today. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and play today. Please like and subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos. Leave a comment and have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.